It's Geggy hot in here, so slap all your stocks. Our stocks are running so hot that I want to take... Oh, what's up? Oh, we are recording. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so today on the channel, we're going to cover a recap of some of the swings we talked about last week. Uh, we're going to talk about one that we added last week as well, uh, plus a couple that have news next week. So, you know, OTC is definitely heating up. We saw a lot of volume heading into the end of the week. I think all last week, you know, it averaged around 2.5 billion, you know, as to where we've hit like 1.5, 1.8. So, you know, a lot more volume starting to come into the OTC. Big boards are just crushing with inflation so a lot of speculation plays now you know a lot of companies are starting to bring out the news they feel more comfortable now that the market is coming alive they feel safe enough to bring news so we could heat up all summer long confidence is coming back slaps are coming back people are holding so without further ado we're going to talk about those stocks today but make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video shoot me a comment down below what you're looking at next week and what i might have missed but without further ado let's get right in As Matthew McConaughey says, all right, all right, let's get into it. So, you know, first one we're going to talk about today, TXTM. Uh, we talked about this last week's video and how this thing was just running bananas. I expected it to cool off and I was proven wrong. And <laughs> sometimes that happens. I think Reddit got a hold of it. Everybody and their mother was on this thing. So the volume was just insane. But I was able to get some of the dip on Friday. Um, so, you know, there was a fib line. I think it was down 012 range in that area. Um, so I was like, okay, you know, I saw it coming down. And usually what happens when stocks start to sell off is that people want to protect profits. So they'll start selling. So, you know, I had bids in anywhere from 0128 and I just let them fill, you know, down to 0125. And I was like, you know, I think this company, you know, I think the, the cult behind it, the tribe, the TXTM tribe are going to close this thing green. You know, it had Sykes in it and his his gang and everything. So bought the dip, you know, completely ran back up, closed green. Awesome to see. So but the thing I like about this company is, you know, they're putting out PRs left and right. They're saying long and strong. We in it to win it. You know, the PR coming out today for the tribe committed for the long weekend. You know, and next week we're putting the heavy booster on this mf -er, like, you know, with, with the eggplant. I, it's hilarious. I love it. You know, I love trading stuff like this. So keep an eye on that one going forward. You know, I'm sure they're going to continue pushing out news. You know, it still needs to consolidate. There are some gaps, but same thing. It proved everybody wrong. Kept running, 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 running. Accumulations, all time high. Volume is just absolutely insane. So it could just keep going next week before it cools off. So, you know, just be careful with that one. But intraday dips are always good. And the company is just hilarious. You know, I love it. I love stuff like this. So uh, the next one, RMRK, we covered in the last video, hit 021, 0021, uh, tapered off a bit, you know, cooled off, hit 15s, and then right back up, closed like 19 or 20. Um, but as they said, they're waiting on approvals for their first PR. I think they have a couple acquisitions in the in the, uh, in the the tank. Uh, but one of the traders said that they, you know, they got an email and there will be an official PR out this week. So, you know, keep an eye on that one as well. And then, you know, we covered VGID, you know, grabbing five, six, even seven, closed up 0009. As you can see, volume is definitely looking good. Accumulation, all time high, no dilution. So if this news is big enough, this thing could just go. But, you know, close right here at the 200, you know, right at it, right above it. So if we keep up volume next week, it should see 1214, you know, in this range. Um, so, you know, with those three. And then we have h up, so I've covered this one in a past video, and I love this thing. You know, this is more of a longer swing or a longer hold in general because this thing might go to NASDAQ. I mean, what they're trying to do and accomplish and tons of revenue, you know, acquisitions. But, you know, as you can see here, HDUP management is proud to announce the closing of one of its crown jewel acquisitions. And I have speculation on what that is. A full Twitter announcement will follow Tuesday and subsequent comprehensive PR to follow once approved by all parties yada 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 but you know you, they've been giving hints since the beginning of june multiple sports betting i gaming revenue stream pr submitted to a session you know immediate release so you know they're still heating up and you know unfortunately it gets flipped between that 09 to 013 channel uh it's a pretty pretty broad channel but um you know once people start to hold this stock you know basically pull out the chart here accumulation is still great and then, um, as you can see, it ripped up, and then it was coming down, coming down, and it broke, you know, out of that uh, descending wedge. 
and uh, you know, candled over here around 13, closed around 12. So if that PR is big enough, this thing just might go, go, go. But if not, you know, I definitely recommend grabbing dips on this and accumulating, you know, for a little while. But, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just out here like you guys, slapping stocks, buying, selling, you know, doing what we're going to do. Um, so we covered that one, you know, in the past, and I really like that one. Rocky Stacchiano has all that killer DD. If it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't even got in it. Uh, you know, Passion, you know, and all those guys have been doing a killer job, especially with their whole Discord. Um, but next one is going, this is my baby. You know, Hiru, H-I-R-U, I've covered it twice in the video. I've been covering it since 0017, saying I'm buying all the dip, anything I can, because, you know, the two large shareholders got out, which is good. And there's no further dilution. Plus, you know, they were in Europe. Uh, they were, you know, working on more acquisitions. They're looking at, you know, bolstering their finances by adding more companies from, you know, Arizona in that range, you know, cash balance and so forth. So, but they put out awesome news. So this is a huge catalyst. So Hyru said, great news, meeting set with Walmart, July 6th from 11 to 1. So if Hyru can score, you know, a huge Walmart contract or, you know, anything along those lines or speculation says that Hyru might bottle for Walmart, which would just be lightning in a bottle. If they get some sort of contract like that, this thing is going to explode. So keep an eye on that one. I think it's going to really climb into it. You know, as we see here on the chart, you know, we covered it all the way down here. Loved it, loved it. I still love it down here at 35. You know, if people keep selling right here, as you can see, 003 is the 8MA. And then right underneath is 25. I don't think that's going to break the 8. So I think 003 is probably going to be the key area if you want to add. It'll probably channel in between here for a little bit until it can close above the 50MA, which is around 0038. But the cool thing was is you know somebody here it says it's unable to view but this guy you know he posted a picture of their product in walmart and basically said you know i'm excited oh i get you know alkaline 88 and this and that and then walmart responded you know we couldn't agree more so you know i don't even know how because he didn't tag walmart in that tweet somehow they got it so i don't know Maybe they know Hyru is coming. I don't know. But either way, that's a huge catalyst. So, you know, you got a couple weeks to accumulate. I think it'll definitely climb hard into it, especially if somehow they do get a contract to bottle for Walmart and have a distribution for Walmart. I mean, that's explode time. So, you know, keep an eye on that one. It's it's my baby. I love it. You know, I have a few of those. But, you know, the next one we're going to talk about. This one, you know, I'll post it up here. I was grabbing 0014, 0015, 0016. I didn't even know why. I just saw the volume and I was like, well, how, what is going on with this? And I remember I saw a week prior that they brought out news that they have a new CEO, a new business plan, you know, everything that's going into it. And I was like, huh, that's, that's cool. But, you know, they don't have an active Twitter, so I'll keep an eye on it. Well, lo and behold, they made a Twitter. I mean, so it, that's literally what sparked the volume. It's just because they made a Twitter. And I was like, wow, this is awesome. You know, I'll grab some. And the volume was just pouring in. I'm like, oh, my God. You know, like, so I bought some more. You know, I stayed here. 0016, 0017. You know, I made the chart and said, this thing is going to blow if volume keeps up. Um, but, you know, it does have a small gap here. I don't think it's going to fill anytime soon. You know, as they say, all, all gaps fill. Uh, well, ALP, ALPP, is still has a gap from, like, a year ago that hasn't filled so you know proven wrong but you know more than likely you know it could it could not but either way you know i don't focus on that i mean once it's popped up you know it's going to have resistance points and support points and so forth but you know they stated hey welcome to geggy as i said is geggy hot in here uh you know this is our new twitter account we are very excited to update everyone on our new journey some very defining and major updates are due soon Awesome. That sparked it. Thanks for everyone and your support today. We will put out official news for the company next week. Enjoy your weekend. So this thing will probably see a third huge day before it consolidates. As you can see, it's hot. And, you know, just coming back here to TXTM, as you see, this thing just ballistic, just went crazy. So there's a lot of hype behind this one. I mean, I've, I think everybody on social media, everybody was getting in. So, you know, of course, you know, make sure that you're securing, you know, original position, you know, make sure you're using risk management because, you know, stocks that run like this, you know, they could taper off. The news could be bad or anything like that. But, you know, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that. So this guy right here, 
uh, deep blue. So, you know, and it's just all speculation for right now, but this guy has been putting out crazy DD. So, you know, I'm not going to go through all of it, you know, and keep you here for 30 minutes, but I want you to go to his page and look at everything he's been putting out, um, especially on auto autonomous, um, you know, what they're going to do with automobiles and so forth, because he basically said that the address links up to a company, you know, that had a $200 million IPO form D filled out. And I mean, there's just so much behind it. Nobody's saying that that is going to be the company, but if they have a piece of it or if they do the logistics for it, or if they're the software, anything along those lines, but you know, addresses match up, you know, filed, you know, as far as the uh, register or registration, um, and then the registration business name, you know, worth of being generated as a merger acquisition form of strategic partnership with Geo One, even a small bite. This huge event for the OTC companies got a $2 billion valuation. So nobody's saying that it is them or, you know, what they have to do with them. It might not have anything to do with them, but there could be a direct link. Um, the CEO does have 15 years of experience. And then this is their website here. So very cool. You know, we are searching for auto autonomous solutions that will be disruptive in their respective industries. Disruptive, you know, we love that one. Um, so, you know, plans to leverage their extensive network of autonomous experts and advisors to help opportunities to license or acquire technology or companies that fit into their strategic plans. So this kind of reminds me of like a CYBL to where, you know, the company came in, they took over a new CEO, new business plan, and they're just going to start hammering out acquisitions. So, you know, there's no current dilution. I think they canceled like 6 million debt. I think the CEO actually took it on himself. I'll have to dig a little bit deeper on that, but, you know, check into that. Um, and then just, you know, what they're trying to do, this is a niche company. So being that it's a niche company in OTC, if they say, hey, we're planning on acquiring five companies over the next year, this thing is going to grow. So it may not fly up the next day, but it's one of those ones that will continually grow over the course of the year. And it could be the next penny, two, three penny runner because it only has a one bill float. Market cap's only a couple million. So it's like next to nothing. So keep an eye on that one too. I mean, like I said, just looking at the chart, this thing has just been blasting crazy volume, you know, for a second, usually we'll have a third day. It'll probably gap up on Tuesday as well. Um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of speculation behind it. It could be a next big one, but you know, same thing, you know, make sure you do your own DD, check it out. So I just wanted to bring those to your guys' attention. TXTM, probably going to be an ATM, you know, it's might have some dips and so forth but i mean you know it has a huge cult like tribe behind it and uh you know if it is the valuation they say it is this thing is going to blast um you know rmrk they have their news next week h up same thing they've been working on one of their crown jewels they're going to announce that next week keep an eye on that one and then hyru you know it, consolidate you know get around zero zero three and just ride the wave because like i said Europe, they're in currently Europe, Amsterdam, they've been flying everywhere. Um, and I'll show you here. Yep, there they are boarding, you know, more meetings, you know, they have three stops, Amsterdam, MSP next stop. So love this company, love what they're doing. You know, they have tons of growth potential, small market cap, they're already doing revenue, they aren't diluting. So this to me is probably one of my top three, you know, favorite longer holds. Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. And then, uh, you know, you have GEGI, it's giggy hot in here. I know it's nice to have 150 plus runner, you know, within two days. So I got tons of messages saying, oh, it was awesome. I love it. So I'm just excited to see everybody back. I'm excited to see the OTC back in action. And that is going to wrap it up for today. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, drop a like, let me know what you're looking at, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. <music>